Hey everybody, welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders. This is Rich. And today I want to talk about comments on your YouTube channel. How do you feel about comments? Now I know a lot of people really don't worry about likes and really not paying attention to views. But I'm just curious, how do you feel about comments? And I'm not talking about spe specifically negative or positive comments. Comments in general. I want to kind of tell you what my, my point or my point of view on comments is or the question would be are they important and I think the response to comments are important if you're really trying to build your channel if you're just kind of going with the flow with the channel of the YouTube and say well it's not that a big big of a deal I think I think people should respond to comments now I do understand that if you're a huge channel and the second you put a video up you have 500,000 comments you know I understand you just don't have time to get to those but I think is is the small channels like we are you should be responding to comments good bad or indifferent if you got any bad ones you want to take them down then take them down that's not a big deal but I kind of get too frustrated when somebody asks you to put up a comment and they don't respond to it. Only thing they do is put that heart. And I'm not talking about, like I said, I do understand if you have a huge channel, that's a lot of times you can't respond to every comment. And you just have to get to the ones that come in earlier that day. I understand that. But for us, we believe in that you respond to every single comment. Come on, people, really? You're going to hog up the street. You're going to hog up the street. Now, I respect bike riders and I'm talking about bicyclists but they are in the middle of the street there we go thank you anyway back to my comments I just believe that for us if you put a comment on our page we will respond to every single comment because we don't fall into the category of the minute we put a video up we have 500 comments but I think the most important thing that you should be responding to if you're doing whether you're trying to build your channel or not if you really want people to come back and appreciate watching your videos or questions if you're putting a video up and people have questions then maybe you should respond to the questions only that's just my take on it now for me <laughs> The question should be related to the video. For example, if I do video, a video about the importance of the proper inflation of motorcycle tires, and you have a question on that video, oh yeah, we're going to respond. But if your question is, hey, what do you think about the new Gold Wing? Okay, I like the new going, but that don't have nothing to do with the video. Those I will get to when I get to them. But I'm talking about if you say, hey, what's the proper inflation on a new tire? Or if you have a question about a tire that have nothing to do with inflation or how far you should ride on a tire before you really start putting it through its paces. At least that's tire related. You guys know what I'm talking about? So I just want to know how you guys feel about comments in both situations where people answer your comments or whether you are a YouTuber and how you feel about answering comments now I know as your channel grow there's gonna be some bad comments every time I pass empty parking lots I'm always looking for an opportunity to practice but I'm headed home so I'm gonna go home but I, I, I personally, I, I live off the comments. I feed off the comments. I feed off the comments more than I feed off the views on the video. Now, that's not to say that I don't want a lot of views. Of course I want a lot of views. You know, you, know, you put in the work, you appreciate when people are watching the videos. And I appreciate when people are watching the videos and comment. That's why everybody say, hey, comment below. If you're telling me to comment below, and I put a, an appropriate comment or have a really thought-provoking question that I need answered, 
I would I would like the person who put the video up to answer the question, but I have no problem if someone else answer that question. And I noticed that happened with the huge channels. If somebody got 1,100 comments and somebody come with a question, and I said, okay, that's a pretty interesting question. I look at the question, and, and, and it's somebody who answered the question that's not even a video creator. And that's fine. That's what, every, every, that's what it's all about. That's what I believe everything is all about. If you can help somebody out by answering the question, why not? You know, what do you guys think about that? Why do you think it should be the person who's putting the video up, only answering that particular question? Or is it okay that I will answer a question on your channel if you hadn't gotten to it if somebody asking a question? Now, another thing about comments, and this is especially if you're trying to build your channel up. Comments, YouTube see comments as engagement. Somebody engaging in that video, not only by watching it, but enough to comment on the video. YouTube don't read the comment. They could care less about a negative or a positive comment. So they look at comments and they go, well, somebody commented on this video. I am going to get... Damn. I am going <laughs> to... I'm looking at the bank line. Somebody commented on a video and YouTube say, okay, that's an engagement. When you answer a comment that somebody put on your video, that's another engagement. Have you ever noticed you'll do a video and you get back to it at the end of the day and you go, wow, I have 20 comments. And each comment that you answer, you two see it as 20 engagements. So they'll mark it down as 20 comments, which is good for your channel, especially if you try, I need to go there and wash my bike. <laughs> especially if you're trying to grow your channel. But I didn't want to make this a long video. I just want to get the guys' opinions and feelings of what you think of comments. Because I was just riding home, just finished visiting a friend, taking him to a SWR meter so he can get his CB correct on his bike. And I just kind of thought about that. So I was thinking about YouTube. And today was a day where I wasn't even thinking about turning the camera on. Which leads me to another topic I'm going to cover. Hmm, another video I can make. Maybe I'll make it today. And that is, how do you come up with content? How do you come up with topics? Maybe we'll make that video and show you guys how we come up with topics. Because for me, for Cake and I, a little background, we used to be in the front of the camera. We used to talk in to a nobody, even before YouTube. We are used to talking to huge crowds. So it's not a big deal for us. We very seldom, very seldom have any problems of coming up with topics or subjects for, for our videos. So let us know if that's something you want to, are you interested in? How do we come up with subjects for the video? Anyway, for Moose and Jeans Riders, if y'all riding, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. I'm Rich, and I'm out. Peace.